everyone this is vikas kumar welcome to marine tuta marine engineering lectures this is my third lectures on oily water separator last two lectures i have already discussed about the rules and regulation regarding the oily water separator that is oily water discharge regulation and we have also discussed about the working principle of oily water separators working principle of 15 ppm device and all these things have, we have already covered so आज की जो हमारी लेक्चर्स होगी कुछ इंटेलेक्चुअल क्वेश्चंस डिस्कस करेंगे जो मैंने आपके ब्लैक बोर्ड में भी लिखा हुआ है आप देख सकते हो आप फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज मेंटेनेंस रिक्वायर्ड इन ओली वाटर सेपरेटर सब मेंटेनेंस इज रिक्वायर्ड इन ओली वाटर सेपरेटर व्हाट्स आर व्हाट आर दोस मेंटेनेंस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सेकंड क्वेश्चन इज व्हाई साइफन ब्रेकर इज प्रोवाइडेड एट द डिस्चार्ज साइड ऑफ ओडब्ल्यूएस सो देयर इज अ साइफन ब्रेकर अरेंजमेंट एट द डिस्चार्ज साइड ऑफ ओडब्ल्यूएस सो व्हाई दिस अरेंजमेंट इज सो now our third question is how to check zero and span setting for ows okay and fourth question is what could be the reason if your ows is not working properly means what are the probable and possible reasons so in this lectures we are going to cover all four questions and mujhe kuch logo ne recommend kiya jaise main thermodynamics basic thermodynamics jo in marine engineering interview mein puche jate hain main engine ic engines pe main lectures banau तो अभी मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ अभी मेरी जो लेक्चर सारी है वो हमारी मरीन ऑक्सिलरी मशीन पर आई जो मेरी फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल थी जो हमारी फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल तो हमारी मरीन बॉयलर्स पे थी मरीन बॉयलर्स एंड पावर प्लांट पे थी जो हमारी सेकंड जो हमारी मॉड्यूल थी वो हमारी एयर कंप्रेसर्स पे थी फिर मैंने रेफ्रिजरेशन पे वीडियो बनाया फिर मैंने फ्रेश वाटर जनरेटर पर वीडियो बनाया अभी मैंने ऑयली वाटर सेपरेटर पर वीडियो बना रहा हूँ तो अभी जो हमारी है मरीन ऑक्सिलरी मशीन चल रही है बॉयलर के बाद तो ये मैं पूरी इंड करूंगा मैं पूरी खत्म करूंगा ये मॉड्यूल कुछ अभी और भी मरीन ऑक्सिलरी मशीन बची हुई है उसके बाद मैं मेन इंजन पर ही आऊंगा आईसी इंजन पे आऊंगा मैं आईसी इंजन में आपको जितने और पॉसिबल क्वेश्चंस होते हैं इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस और जितने कॉन्सेप्ट होते हैं जो इंटरव्यूज में पूछे जाते हैं जो यूनिवर्सिटी में पूछे जाते हैं और सम एक्सटेंट जो हमारी एम ओरल से पूछे जाते हैं मैं सारे क्वेश्चन कवर करूंगा सो इसलिए जो हमारी अपकमिंग टॉपिक्स होगी वो हमारी इन्हीं टॉपिक्स पे होगी और जो हमारी ओली वाटर सेपरेटर्स के बाद जो हमारी टॉपिक होगी वो हमारी प्यूरीफायर होगी फिर मैं पंप्स कवर करूंगा फिर मैं स्टेरिंग गियर कवर करूंगा कुछ कुछ टॉपिक्स मैं कवर करूंगा उसके बाद मैं थर्मोडायनमिक्स एंड आईसी इंजिन पर आऊंगा एंड आफ्टर दैट मैं मरीन इलेक्ट्रिकल टेक्नोलॉजी पर आऊंगा तो ये मैंने आपको फर्स्ट लेक्चर में बताया था तो आज की हम लेक्चर स्टार्ट करते हैं ओके सो वाट आर द मेंटेनेंस रिक्वायर्ड इन दी वाटर सेपरेटर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल there are no such specific maintenance required on the oily water separators why because the moving parts in this machinery are very less so if the moving parts in this machinery are very less so less we are into but but still some maintenance is always required for running machinery because ows is a running machinery okay so there are following checks and maintenance which are carried out in the oily water separators and those are the first maintenance is periodic changes of oil absorbing material okay that is periodic changes of oil absorbing material means what means i have already discussed in on my second lectures and oily water working principles in first stage separator there is one plate called baffles plate or catcher's plates and the baffle plates which act as a absorbing filter okay absorbing filter which means it absorb oil rather than water okay so there is a certain interval or there is a certain periodic time we have to change those oil absorbing material okay now our second maintenance is regular cleaning of the surface of the chamber as oil sticks to them same concepts same baffle plates or catcher plates so what happened in baffle plates some oil sticks into them so regular cleaning should be done okay regular cleaning of the surface okay now third point is regular checking and troubleshooting of the oil monitoring systems so there is some troubleshooting methods which must have to carried out that is oil monitoring system or we say 15 ppm sensor in in 15 ppm sensor so we we discuss that there is a two flow photoelectric cells okay so uh, photoelectric cell should be healthy should be working properly okay there is a comparator so check regular or do a troubleshooting okay so regular checking and troubleshooting of the oil monitoring system okay if not it done then it's generate false alarm okay now our fourth and last maintenance is 
regular cleaning of the valve which are used to regulate the flow this is the basic maintenance for every auxiliary machines okay now so this is all about our first question now come to the second question and our second question is why siphon breaker is provided at the discharge side of oil and water separators separator so this is our siphon breaker okay which is provided in the discharge side of oil and water separator first of all we stop the oil and water separator okay we assume that oil and water separator is stopped so siphon breaker is provided so that when we stop the oil and water separator it contain mixture of oil with water okay and we don't want that water to go out by its own means so when the available head outside the ship is more then no problem it means it won't allow the oil to go out from the ows go out from the ows but if in case outside head is low okay means outside head is low then oily water from the ows go out and pollute the environment there is a pressure difference created between these two no if the outside head is low and inside head is more means uh, in stopping condition oily water separator which contains some mixtures of oil and water which is inside okay if inside head is high as compared to outside head so means uh, head refers to your pressure only means if inside pressure is high then outside pressure then what happened means the, whatever the inside pressure which contains some oil and water which go out go out to the outside and which pollute the environment okay so that was the reason we use siphon breaker which won't allow this condition to take place for bed okay so this is why this is the reason only siphon breaker is provided at the discharge side of oil water separator now move to sir third question and our third question is how to check zero and span setting for ows okay so so to check the span setting we have to pass a special liquid which ppm is known to you okay whose ppm is known to you suppose suppose to check zero setting just pass the fresh distilled water through the sensor and if it should if it should show zero ppm to you it means your sensor work your sensor working fine okay so suppose you have to check zero in span setting for oil water separator so what to do what to do to check span setting if it is working uh, properly or not you are we have to pass a special liquid whose ppm is known to you okay and your detector need to show you the same reading like if you pass 15 ppm liquid through the sensor so it should show you 15 ppm at the monitor so this was the span setting okay so the purpose of span setting is to ensure the input and output of an instrument correspond to one another okay predictably throughout the entire range of operations okay so in simple language how to check zero and span setting for ows to check the zero setting just pass the liquid which ppm is known to you and the best example is pass the fresh distilled water through the sensor and it should zero ppm or if it should zero ppm okay to you it means your sensor working fine so why we need to pass fresh distilled water because we know that fresh distilled water which contain zero ppm in that ppm you know so if you pass that distilled water which is no which ppm is known to you okay then if the monitor show you zero ppm it means your sensor working fine okay so in this way you check the zero and span setting for oil and water separator and this type of question is mostly asked by training marine engineer interview or mmd oral interviewer or surveyor okay so be prepare all these types of questions and these questions come under travel shooting of oily water separator or any auxiliary machines okay everyone knows about the working principle of auxiliary machines like fresh water generator oily water separators and other different different auxiliary machines but you should know the travel shooting okay we should know the travel shooting of all this 
बुझे ले क्यों सेंस नाउ वर लास्ट क्वेश्चन इन व्हाट कुड बी द रीजन इफ योर ओली वाटर सेपरेटर इज नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपर्ली समटाइम्स व्हाट हैपेन ओली वाटर सेपरेटर इज नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपर्ली सो व्हाट आर द प्रोबेबल रीजंस ओके सो आवर फर्स्ट रीजन इज थ्रोपुट इज टू हाई means throughput here refers to means pressure okay means whatever the oily water mixtures which is pumped by bilge pump through bilge holding tank and those throughput is too high then it leads to malfunctioning okay and second point is the second probable cause is oil and water is churning okay so so actually to remove this churning effect that's why we not use standard oil pump okay so instead of central flume you we use reciprocating pump okay and uh, the third problem cause is the mixture is too cold which not able to flow okay and fourth one is venting of air is not proper means initial means if you watch my second lecture so you understand this okay venting of air is not proper and fifth one is chemical like oil dispersion added in bilge water okay and next one is maybe cat splits are dirty okay i have already told you if the catcher splits or if the vacuum plates are dirty on which oil sticks and there is no regular cleaning of all those catcher splits or vacuum plates so which leads to uh, decrease the efficiency okay so in this way also ows is not working properly and coalescence filters are dirty okay maybe next probable cause are sensing probe not working properly There is a sensing probe, no? Though uh, that called a capacitance probe. So, if capacitance probe not working properly, and if and this eight point is related to our fourth point, that is venting of air is not proper. If venting of air is not proper, then what happened? Some air is present inside the separators. So, if air is present inside the separator, second lecture I have already told you why we need to venting the air. Because the capacitance of air is nearly equal to the capacitance of oil. Capacitance of air is nearly equal to the capacitance of oil. If venting is not proper, then what happens? Some air is present inside the separator, and capacitance probe senses air instead of oil, and hence wrong signal sent to control switch, and hence all these separator process hampers. So that's why sensing probe should be work properly. Okay. And uh, last and most basic reason is heavy rolling pitching of the seal, which also leads to malfunctioning or oily water separator. So this is all about our today's lectures. I hope you enjoy these lectures and you gain more and more knowledge from these lectures. So thank you for watching this video and please do like and subscribe to my video. Thank you.